Around a decade ago, in the 19th district of Paris, two orphaned brothers began their journey to so-called jihad. Saeed and Sharif Kouachi's paths to terror seem to have differed. Little is known about Saeed, the elder of the two, other than he traveled a few years ago to Yemen, meeting terror groups there. Sharif went from rap-loving hipster to radical. This video was made in 2004. Not long after, his life changed course. It was at this mosque, now under reconstruction. He met and studied under extremist Farid Ben Yetu, who recruited him as a foreign fighter. Sharif is said to have trained for his mission in Iraq in this park, jogging and building up his strength. But he never made it. He was arrested and convicted as he was trying to leave France to fight in Iraq. But despite links that later emerged to Ben Yetu's recruitment ring, Sharif was released for time already served in 2008. He seemingly fell off the intelligence radar. This mainstream mosque in northern Paris is where Sharif last worshipped, along with 2,300 others. We're told he wasn't even among those who were particularly devout. For the big prayers, for the big events, he preferred to come here, Representative Abdel Baki Ataf says. Five minutes away, Sharif's residence. This building, apartment 143. The one neighbor on his floor who answered the door in no mood to talk. Few are. Another of the residents who lived on the third floor did not want to appear on camera, but he did say that he saw Sharif on a number of occasions, at times with his wife. She was dressed in the full black Islamic niqab with just her eyes showing. He described them as being fairly discreet, keeping to themselves, but did say that on a few occasions heard loud voices from the apartment. At the local kebab shop down the block, these men all said they were shocked when they saw Sharif's picture on TV describing him as polite, exhibiting no signs of his radical views. One man said he remembers him helping elderly women with their groceries. The brothers are the exact kind of jihadi's Western intelligence fears, one that doesn't look or act like the stereotypical terrorist, perfectly concealing a murderous mind. Arwa Damon, CNN, Paris.